Hello everyone and welcome to a new video about the Jelly Bean 3D which is this uh, nice uh, little vehicle that I'm gonna do it on real scale in order to be able to, to drive it. The idea is to make it with small parts uh, printed and then we are gonna uh, join them together with a kind of glue or, chem or a kind of chemical welding. And this video is about that. Uh, I'm gonna test different uh, glues and different chemical weldings in order to see which is the most suitable for this kind of work. This is a quite large part so we need a very strong uh, bonding uh, in order to have a very good uh, structure for the for the vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna try different, like I said, different kind of um, of adhesives. Uh, the first one is gonna gonna try it's uh, cyanocrylate, cyanocrylate, which is very standard and it actually works really well with PLA. But in this case, with these big parts, I don't think this is gonna be the most suitable uh, glue for the for the job. Okay. I'm gonna try as well, this is a very standard poly material glue, I think it's based on um, polyurethane, not fully sure, this is a clear one. It has worked for me in order to join different materials very well before, but let's try it. I don't know if it's gonna really work well. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. This is a fantastic glue, it glues everything. The only thing is that it, the, the, the glue itself is not very strong. It's a bit uh, like rubbery. So I don't think that it's gonna be strong enough to make this, these joints, but this is a very good uh, glue that can be bought very cheap. And like I said, it glues almost everything, okay? Here's another one that I found the other day on, on the hardware store. I have never tested, it says it glues everything, but when you read it in the back, it says it doesn't glue uh, polypropylene or polyethylene. And I think, I don't know sure if it's gonna work with PLA, but let's try it, okay? I'm gonna use uh, standard contact glue, Okay, to see how it does. I'm gonna use epoxy. Epoxy, let's say it's uh, the first thing that you think that it would, could be strong. But uh, I did some previous tests and really, really didn't work really well. This is a standard hobby uh, epoxy. I'm gonna try as well um, metal epoxy. Okay, I don't have in hand uh, plastic epoxy. That plastic epoxy may work as well for this, uh, for this job. The thing is, I'm a bit allergic already to epoxy, so I try to avoid to, to use it much, okay? I'm gonna use as well silicone, standard um, silicone. Uh, this is, in this case, is black, but uh, just, I'm gonna try silicone, okay? And then uh, now we change, we go to the chemical welding. Chemical welding is a bit different. Instead of a glue, which is make, that makes the bonding, what it does is uh, the chemical welding dissolves a little bit of the materials on the two sides that are gonna that we are gonna bone, and uh, that uh, this that um, solvent, you know, creates a, a welding between the material itself. Okay, when the solvent <coughs> evaporates. Okay, when I use acetone, it actually works um, fairly well with PLA, but let's try it, you know, more in a scientific way. Okay, I'm gonna use PVC glue, which is actually a glue made with acetone and a filler. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna do an experiment, okay, with this that I already have tried a little bit and it looks that it works pretty well. I'm gonna use um, di uh, dichloromethane, okay, dichloromethane, okay, I think it's the proper name in English, okay. It's a solvent for PLA, okay. It's uh, as well, 3-chloromethane three as well as a solvent is, is chloroform, but in this case, this is not chloroform, this is a bit safer. Uh, anyway, it's a, it's a chemical, it's an organic solvent, so uh, you have to be careful when you use this, the same as, as when you use acetone. This is a bit more dangerous because it evaporates much faster and it has a very little smell. It's not like acetone that it smells very strong. This one very, is a very little smell, so you don't notice that you are uh, breathing the vapor. So you have to be careful with, with this one. And I made my own um, glue with uh, that solvent, okay? I just mixed some PLA with the, with the solvent and I made it just in two different, two different colors, okay? So I have done some previous tests and it looks like it works quite well. So let's see what happens, okay? How we're gonna do it? Um, we're gonna use, I just designed this small uh, parts so they can be glued. The gluing part is here and it's exactly one square centimeter. So uh, we're gonna glue it this way, okay? that you can you can see it okay as you can see it's not um, a, a 
well which is done this way or only this way, okay? It's like a bit tilted in order to simulate more real life uh, work of a, of, uh, of a bonding, okay? Because uh, the bonding is gonna be working in different directions, so the stresses uh, are not always perpendicular to one of the, of the directions of the, of the welding. They are more or less obliquial usually. So uh, in order to get to more real life. And well, the way I'm gonna do it, uh, my idea at the beginning was uh, to sand the surfaces and then to clamp them together uh, like, like this with the clamp. But then I thought, okay, that's not real life. You know, not always we properly sand the surfaces we're gonna, we're gonna join, okay? Or sometimes it's not possible to do it properly. And sometimes as well, it's not possible to clamp them properly. So I'm gonna do it, just put the glue in one and the other and holding like this for a few seconds and leave it, uh, leave it to cure for, yes, for 48 hours. I'm gonna leave it to cure everything at least 48 hours to test uh, properly the, the, the joints, okay, and the, and the bonding. So now I'm gonna proceed to apply all the, all the glue to all of, the, all of these parts. All specimens are ready now, all glued together. Okay, and now we're gonna let them uh, cure for uh, 48 hours and come back to make the tests. 40, 48 hours have uh, elapsed since I uh, glued, joined all of these uh, parts. Okay, I have to tell you that uh, the ones that I tried to, to glue with acetone didn't work at all. You see, there's no, no way you can glue this PLA, PLA Plus uh, with acetone. It doesn't work at all, so that's something that failed it. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is to test each one of them. Each, one, each specimen in this uh, little device that I have prepared here is this uh, standard grip uh, where we can grip the, the, the part and with this uh, little tool that tell us uh, how much weight it can support through, through this hook. We put the hook here and we just pull with a lever here to see up to how much uh, weight it can support. Okay, and as we know that this is a one square centimeter of surface of uh, joining, of bonding, we can have a quite accurate uh, measurement on how much each uh, weld will support. Okay, I finalized the test on the, on the specimens. And well, the, there was a problem with the footage of the of the testing, and I only have left the first uh, test that everything just actually blew out. Oh. And anyway, I was uh, cautious, and I wrote all the all the results on on writing, so I was able to create this uh, spreadsheet. You can download this spreadsheet from the from the comments below. There's a there's a link for doing so. Okay, and well, as a conclusion, uh, I have to say that most of the adhesives that I tried in this video, they didn't work, okay? There is, uh, all of them just break quite easily. Uh, there is only, let's say, three of them that work it quite well. One of them was the epoxy, but it was a very weak uh, joint. Anyway, it's usable, but I don't know, I do not recommend it for PLA or PLA+. Plus while there's uh, these other ones, which is uh, Cyanacrylate Acrylate. It works really, really well. All the parts didn't break uh, by the bonding, and if, you, if I try to push even harder, what happens is that the part just broke, okay? And another one, uh, well, Cyanacrylate, I, it will be recommended for small things and figurines and things like that, but the problem with this Cyanacrylate is to use it in big surface. It's gonna be a problem. And actually, the bondings of cyanocrylate they do degrade during time because of uh, the heat and the moisture. So, for me in this case, for the project of the Jelly Bean 3D, it's not the most adequate one. So I was very, um, very lucky to find this the, the um solvent, 
I tried just the solvent by itself and I tried as well mix it with um, PLA and PLA plus which is which creates a kind of uh, glue very easy to use you know very easy to apply in the boss surfaces and just put together and it works really well it's much stronger than epoxy and it will last because it's actually the same we're welding with the same material as the parts are made okay so let's say this is the most recommended one this is a very easy uh, glue to make yourself i will make another video about how to make it okay and well just uh, as the last is to say that if you like it this um, this kind of projects you can uh, see in the description how you can uh, participate in these projects or collaborate and as well if you like this this video just please subscribe bye